Hey, it's Don and Joe here with our second DVD review show. Uh, this week we're supposed to be bringing uh, some great movies with for you. Great movies. Oh, God. I, I almost don't even want to review these piles of shit. Yeah, they're pretty outrageous, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, by outrageous, do you mean a fucking horrific gunshot wound to the head? Yeah, I, 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 I really wanted to go there, but uh, luckily my roommate, you know, talked me down. Yeah, luckily me and Joey didn't kill each other. Um, yeah, you know, we kind of just pushed it out. Pussy out. Yeah, kind of like we did when we got these movies. Yeah. yeah. So what's what's good right to it? The first one is Bride Wars. Bride Wars. Um, first of all, I think this movie was uh, let's see, nine, ninety some eighty nine minutes. Holy shit, it's less than ninety minutes. And let me tell you right now, it's a pile of shit. Yeah, it felt like three and a half hours. Or fucking nails on a chalkboard. Okay. Um, let's see. There's like. Three good minutes of anything remotely approaching funny. Anne Hathaway doing her little stripper dance. That was kind of funny. That was pretty good. Um, the blue hair, that was funny as for a moment. Um, there's like this... It really wasn't funny. These childlike... I mean, it's, it's goofy, stupid shit. Um, and honestly, I feel like... I talked to my girlfriend about this. The movie has a huge plot hole. I don't. You and I are disagreeing with it. Yeah. I don't think the movie even makes Claire, any fun. I mean, movies rarely make any fucking sense, but this one has like this clear hole that like doesn't make any sense. And you bitches can, are vindictive. Bitches are vindictive, and Bride Wars failed to hit. Um, it like had a real transparent plot that I was before yeah. it, the movie even ended. I knew she was gonna end up with. It was like kind of like Mean Girls. Right. Like yeah. It really. You knew how it was gonna end. The next one. Hotel for Dogs. Hotel for a pile of shit. Hotel for a pile of shit. That's what you would have if you had a hotel full of fucking dogs. Yeah. You'd have a hotel full of shit. And this what this what this movie was, was a hotel full of shit. It even had a higher production value. It had like yeah, dogs. It had great, great video. Great video quality. It went to theaters. The dogs, um, were, the amazing. dogs were amazingly trained. Uh, the, the cinematography was pretty good. It even had like Don Cheadle on it, who's a serious actor. Yeah. This movie just fails to hit with its plot, which is just horrific. And it's it's kids won't even enjoy this shit. Nah, I don't think so. So you know what? Hotel for Dogs was a hotel for assholes. Yeah, big time. Our last awesome movie for the week was Legally Blondes. This is the third in the uh, Legally Blonde trilogy. Jesus Christ. Uh, yes, this one uh, actually, even though it is a Reese Witherspoon Presents, this bitch isn't even in the fucking movie. No, man. It's just her house. It's her house. It's, it's the character's house. And then the dogs are in the the do it, it, these these dogs are fucking ridiculous. Yeah. And, and and anyway, these fuck, I'm, I hate fucking chihuahuas, but... I mean, this movie should be fucking illegal to watch. Not be. <laughs> legally I agree. Blonde, yeah. Legally blondes can legally suck my ass. Yeah. yeah. And by, and you know, speaking of legal, it, should we feel bad thinking yeah. naughty thoughts about these girls? Yeah, I think so. How uh, old are they? They're like fourteen and a half or something. Okay, like so the answer to that question is yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, but on that note, this movie sucks ass. And last week's uh, uh, uh what, what they had to offer last week was fucking. Horrible, and uh, you know this. This week's offerings were fucking terrible, yeah. and uh, you know what? We we have a, a whole other movie we could just make. Um, what is it? Hotel oh, for blonde bitches. Yeah, hotel for blonde bitches. Yeah. You know, like that could be like the tie in porno, like you know tie. That would have been a whole lot better. Whole lot better. Yeah, if these girls are like but four years older. These uh, these movies suck so mad. I actually went out and I got some other movies because I was so unhappy with my DVD purchases for the week. Um, these are X Men Volume One and Two. Um, this is the Marvel series for when we were kids, uh, the DVD comic book collection. Um, I think it's going to be good. I haven't even opened it yet because uh, we've been too busy not killing each other and contemplating suicide. Yeah, from the um, movies. But we're, we're very sure if you're going to buy anything this week, fucking buy that. Or don't, don't watch any of these fucking movies. I mean, seriously, even if they were on TV, I wouldn't even watch them. Not at all. Not at all. Like, it, Legally Blondes, I'm sure they're going to at some fucking stupid point show on Disney Channel or Comedy Central or something, and I'll put a shotgun in my face and just suck it. So, yeah. So anyway, Joe Co. still sponsoring us. Looking for other sponsors. Looking for other people. sponsors. Uh, anyone who's willing to send us some money or Sorry, just DVDs to review. Um, we will mention you in the video, so please subscribe, as always, we, we want subscribers, because we're whores for attention. Whores. 
And anyway, so, uh, and this shit's, you know, expensive if there's nothing at the end of the rainbow. Yeah. So, talk to you later, man, and we'll see you next week. Oh, what are we reviewing next week? Um, uh, the Last Templar. Uh, yeah, uh, with, uh, Benjamin Button. The, la- the, curious, the Curious Kate's of Benjamin Button. And, and uh, what is the third? Oh, that we Last Chance that. Harvey, yeah. yeah, with <laughs> Dustin Hoffman. Yeah. So, it's anyway, so... We're not really having much higher expectations for next week. Um, um, I think the curious case of Benjamin Button just sounds interesting, but yeah. I think we're gonna get over it in the next first fifteen minutes. Yeah, and the movie's gonna be drowned out. But that's my predictions without even seeing it yet. Um, so signing off. Talk to you guys next week.